YouTube, it is your boy Above Average Code here coming at you with part two of our crazy, crazy mystery box opening. If you did not see part one, I recommend going back and seeing it. So we have this game here where we have to roll these three dice and we have to pick uh, whatever number goes on the dice. We have mystery, individual mystery packages from the bigger mystery box to open. And as you can see, these are just the packs we kept sealed from episode one so i highly recommend you go and check that video but today we will be rolling the dice and diving right in so we have 17 we have 14 and 5. Alrighty, so we selected 17 14 and 5 from our pile of goodies and we have not rolled any duplicates yet which is crazy and if we do we'll just have to re-roll the dice and get another one so let's open up number five and see what else was hiding that we left out of part one of this crazy mystery box opening and we're going to focus more on getting through the rest of the packages rather than opening the packs themselves and where is the scotch tape scotch tape is at the top no scotch tape we have an unbroken bonds and unified minds very great packs from sun and moon both of which i will be willing to open for you guys here but we will set them aside for now while we again get through more of the mystery packages and this feels kind of interesting there is a chance at edible gifts i believe i don't think uh the number 21 in episode one was the only edible one and let's see what is hiding in here a lot of wrapping paper guys let me discard some of that and we will keep on diving through it and we do have a little candy package here a little candy care package looks like some sour patch kids and some swedish fish turtles i didn't even know that was a thing all righty number 17 guys what do we got what do we got here i'm gonna go with booster packs in this one not just candy I'm excited to see, always excited to see some mystery booster packs. He did a good job of making it time consuming to get into it though. Alrighty, we have a triple stack of packs here and I will focus ripping the scotch tape off without ruining the packs preferably. Oh no, we did a number on that pack with the scotch tape guys. Well, whatever it is, we'll be opening it. I really hope it's not something too crazy. And now let's see what we have. We have a Vivid and Evolutions Oh, it was a Hidden Fates pack. No, the scotch tape did us in, boys. I would have kept this sealed, but now that little rip where we tore the plastic off will make people think it is resealed if I were to ever show it to somebody. So you know what? Let's rip this open right here, guys. Let's rip this open right here, right now. We are left with no choice since I butchered it completely. Rip that bad boy open. Let's get the code card out for all you code card hunters, of course. Hidden Fate should be four to the front, I believe it is, from Sun and Moon Era. Yes, it is. We have an Electric Energy, a Magmar, Misty Cerulean City Gym, Sabrina Suggestion, Cubone, the lovely Eevee from Hidden Fates, Clefairy, Psyduck, Ekans, Lieutenant Surge's Strategy, and just a regular Mr. Mime. So nothing crazy there. And those were our three packages. Let's get into the Unified Minds, guys, and then we will dive right over into more of the other packages, the mystery packages that we need to get into. There is the code card, four cards to the front, Unified Minds, Electric again, Cherish Ball, Tag Switch, Elgium, Hone Edge, Oh, I love that Pikachu card. That is one of my favorite Pikachu uh, commons or uncommons of all time. Hoot Hoot, some also very cool artwork with Zapdos in the background. Some weird scraggy artwork. Numel, U-turn board and behind it, a regular non-hollow Crustle. And a quick roll of the dice. We have three, we have four, and we have 15. So we do have three, four, and 15 are already taken. So let's roll two more dice. We have 11 and 13, which we also already opened. So let's get into three, and then we will just do a fresh re-roll of the dice. I have no idea what could possibly be in here. And we have an LED mouse mat. Very interesting. Maybe you'll catch this in some future Pokemon openings. That's kind of crazy. No packs there. Let's give the dice another roll. That is insane, though. 7, 16, and 9. Now, 9 is off the table already, so we have 7 and 16. Let's get into these bad boys and see if we can pull something crazy. The numbers remaining while I rip this open, we have 1, 8, 10, 12, 18, 19. So we have a few left, and we have something much more recent on the top here. We have Brilliant Stars, 
And I'm trying to find the scotch tape because they are stuck together. There is the start of the scotch tape there. Let's see what else could be hiding. I've got to be very careful with the scotch tape. An interesting design choice there. Alrighty, so Brilliant Stars, Forbidden Light, a very good pack, and another Evolutions pack, guys. That is insane. Let's carefully get the tape off. I may be keeping the Evolution sealed, but that is the second Evolutions pack we've seen. So, I wouldn't be shocked if I decide to open one of them, guys. And then Forbidden Light, I'd likely keep sealed as well. But let's get in the Brilliant Stars. More than willing. And guys, I love sealed booster packs. That's the only reason I'm like, oh, I might keep this sealed. I might keep this sealed. I love, I love sealed booster packs. There's the code card. Four cards to the front. This set's been very good to us. Water, Floatzel, Sigalith, Pachirisu, Carablast, Buizel, Hauluka, Throw, Magmar, Reverse Hollow Bidoof, and Breloom. Non-hollow. Let's get into number 16. See what the heck is hiding here it looks like we have some card sleeves oh but there is a pack behind the card sleeves what do we got what do we got what do we got so we have the card sleeves we can just leave that little bit there and it is well taped so could it be something crazy oh there's two packs back here another forbidden light and a fusion strike pack very cool let's carefully take the scotch tape off very very carefully take the scotch tape off i don't want to hurt this pack i do love me some forbidden light very nice pack artwork there and then a lovely little fusion strike pack so we've seen plenty of fusion strike recently let's open one of these forbidden light packs let's get into the top one here since i do like that other artwork quite a lot tear that bad boy down the back slide oh it's a flip and then four cards to the front. It is Sun and Moon, so four cards. Electric, Breaks In, Mysterious Treasure. That looks kind of cool, actually. Metal Frying Pan, The Eggs, Scatterbug, Gibble. Is he screaming at rocks? Rock Rough, oddly enough. Goomy, Reverse Hollow Scatterbug, and a Hollow Pyroar. Just a Hollow Pyroar. Alrighty, guys, with six items to go, we will roll the dice two more times and see what we can get. Four, 11, and 10. So 10 is the only one still on the table. We will roll once more here, and then after we open these, we will um, just open the rest to see what we have. We have 15, we have 12, and we have 11. So that yields us number 12, and then after we get through these two, we will open the rest to see what is finally hiding in the remainder of this mystery box guys and i'm seeing a build and battle box right off the top let's remove the scotch tape very easy to take the scotch tape off this one luckily get that off my fingers here so we do have a chilling rain build and battle box very nice we could do a video on that down the road we have another brilliant stars pack and a sun and moon crimson invasion not bad let's get into the crimson invasion just to mix things up here I think we did get into a, a Crimson Invasion in the first part of opening this as well. So that is pretty cool. And now we'll get into this one. Four cards to the front. Fighting Energy. Hakamo O. Love me some Miltank. Peking Red Card. Staryu. Jangma O. Shelmet. Salandit. Starly. Reverse Hollow Beware. And the Angry Wigglytuff. The extremely Angry Wigglytuff. Now we will get into number 12. And then we will skip on over to the remaining numbers we will see what we have hiding in there oh baby oh baby it's been a while since i have seen some lost thunder packs i love that artwork too selby is one of my favorites I'm trying to find where the scotch tape is started and is just on the edge here so i'll grab the handy dandy opening pen this has been a very loyal pen it has helped us through so so many videos just to get stuff open so let's carefully Remove the scotch tape ever so carefully. And we'll take that right off. XY Primal Clash. I love sleeve blisters because you know the pack inside is perfectly good to go. So I will be keeping that sealed. I love those for collection purposes. And then, of course, we have the Lost Thunder, which all bets aside booster pack wise, I love the artwork on this pack. Look at that Celebi, dude. I'm a big Celebi fan here. That is awesome. But let's open a Brilliant Stars and let's see what else we have for remaining mystery gifts down below. Get into 
This lovely, brilliant star is back. This new set has been extremely good to me. Extremely good to me. We got an Electric Energy, Dusclops, Bear Tick, Roseanne's Backup, Axew, Impidimp, Magmar, Rylou, the Burmy Boys, Reverse Hollow Purloin, and Non Hollow Lipard. And now, guys, that leaves us with number one, number eight, number 18, and number 19. Let's open them in reverse order since the one is yellow. I would like to keep it separate. I don't think Dan specified why some are yellow. It might just be a coincidence, but we'll find out by opening that one last and get the wrapping paper out of the way here. We have another triple pack bundle. I think I see some Cosmic Eclipse in there, trying to see where the scotch tape is. There she is right there. Very carefully take off the scotch tape as always. And let us see what is hiding. We have another Lost Thunder, less cool artwork. We have my favorite artwork of the Cosmic Eclipse, however. And behind the Cosmic Eclipse, we have another Shining Legends, Mew, one of my favorites, right on the front of that one. So we will carefully take that tape off. Very nice, dude. I love that artwork. I love it so much. And then, of course, let's open the Lost Thunder since I passed on the Lost Thunder we just saw. And, of course, guys, we are setting aside all of these booster packs, and I am willing to open a lot of them. So expect more videos in the near future with the packs we are pulling. Code card there for you guys. Four cards to the front. We have a Metal Energy upside down here. Interesting. Nothing crazy we haven't seen before with Pokemon's low quality control. We have Kecleon. We have Sightseer. Whitney. Tangela. That's kind of cool with the yarn. I see something shiny, guys. Ninkata. Chinchou. Mareep. Marini. Reverse Holo Shed Ninja. And we have a Zorora GX. How appropriate. Zorora, actually one of the front characters for Lost Thunder. So it is kind of cool to be pulling that. I'm not sure if we pulled that. It's been so long since we've opened GX era cards, but we will certainly take that and set that aside. Now let's see what else we have hiding. Again, we have 18, we have 8, and the yellow. The lovely yellow, number one. Let's get into this bad boy and see what we got hiding beneath this multi-layered red wrapping paper. Another triple booster pack bonanza here. Or is this a double? This one's a double. This is a 2-1. We have an XY Phantom Forces, which we actually saw one in part one, so that is very crazy. And we have a battle style, so nothing too crazy there. Now, this Phantom Forces pack, the crimp looks very interesting, but it is an old pack, and it was just taped down, so that could be how it is. But let's see. I'm not sure where these packs were purchased. Everything looks kind of okay, but guys, this is the second one we got. Let's open it up and find out. Let us find out what is going on in this pack. And old packs are known to rip like that. That That is not a red flag there. Because old packs do quite often rip down the side like that. XY used to be a flip. It is not a flip. It is a slide out. And we do have a white code card. It is XY, so it is only three cards to the front, guys. And let's see what is hiding in here. We have a special psychic energy. We have a Fletchender. Very cool. We have Steel Shelter, Krabby. I don't think I've ever opened the set either, by the way, guys. So this is crazy. Helioptile, very cute. Gligar, Dino, Frillish, Reverse Hollow, Bundlebeak. Dude, Reverse Hollows in this set look so cool. And behind it, just a regular Mighty Enna. So nothing crazy, sadly, from the Phantom Forces. Probably should have kept it sealed, but it looked kind of weird anyway. So that's why I wanted to rip it. And now we have number eight and then the elusive number one, the yellow number one. We could not roll a one on the dice. Now let's keep going here with the wrapping paper unwrapping. And what are we hidden? Fates right on top. Some more Mew artwork. Love me some Mew action, guys. Love me some Mew action. One of my favorite mythicals, for sure, for sure. Mew and Jirachi. All right, carefully take the scotch tape off. I'm seeing the gold. The gold is reminiscent of a vintage pack we pulled in part one. And I want to see if I'm right. I'm not going to say it out loud. Let's see what's hiding behind it. It is another black and white next Destiny's pack. That is crazy, guys. I believe these go for about $70, if I remember correctly, from the price on the first one. Um, this one, the Mewtwo artwork, the last one was, I believe, the Reggie Gigas artwork, I think, was on the front. Definitely not opening this, guys. I'm sorry. There are two of them. I still do not want to rip it. 
but that is awesome. That is very cool. Hidden Fates, we ripped the other one, but I think I want to keep the Mew artwork because it is very, very nice. I do love Mew, but we'll see what's in number one. Maybe number one will dictate whether we open that Hidden Fates back, depending on what lies inside here. So this one get I got into very easy. I'm not complaining about that. Seeing some sun and moon styling here for sure. So we have Sun and Moon base set, and we have another XY breakthrough with Mega Mewtwo on it, which I may keep because I'm keeping all the Mews and the Mewtwo's, it seems. So let's open this Sun and Moon base set pack for the road, guys. I don't want to keep you much, much longer here. There was a lot to unpack in this video, quite literally, for me and for you mentally. All right, let's get into this, and then we'll figure out what we're doing with the rest of the booster packs in future videos. Slide that code card out. Four cards to the front, guys. Water Energy, Passimian, Howl, Pinsir, Litten, Fero, Paris, Lillipup, Bound Sweet, Reverse Hollow Rainbow Energy, and sadly, a non-hollow Cloyster. Guys, thank you so, so much for watching this long and insane mystery pack journey again we go with so many crazy packs, guys. So many crazy packs. Old packs, new packs, new old packs that are really fun and really hard to get now. It was a great journey, guys. Thank you so much, Dan. That You're crazy. Very good friend. Crazy guy to do something like this for me. I appreciate it a lot. And guys, please subscribe. Leave a like. Comment on the video. Whatever you got to do. Share it with your friends. Tell your friends to subscribe. All that good stuff. And I appreciate you all very much. Stay happy. Stay healthy. And stay tuned for the next video.